What's in store for 2024? Seiko is gearing up for its 110th anniversary with a series of limited editions, celebrating its rich watchmaking history. Commemorating this milestone, Japan will witness numerous special releases, like the anticipated Prospects SPB 333J1 Save the Ocean Limited Edition. Seiko has already launched the Presage Craftsmanship Series Limited Edition SPB 359J1, drawing inspiration from the 1913 Laurel, the timepiece marking Seiko's inception. This showcases Seiko's commitment to creating exceptional products and marking significant events, surpassing even the Presage level. The Laurel 110th Anniversary Edition Platinum, echoing the original Laurel watches, stands out with its gold mechanism and enamel dial, a splendid recreation. The Omega Seamaster is approaching its 75th birthday, and enthusiasts are eagerly anticipating Omega's celebratory plans. Drawing inspiration from the 1948 limited editions released five years ago, which included central and small seconds models in steel and platinum, the 75th anniversary edition may extend across the entire Seamaster line. As the first family of Omega watches, special anniversary versions for each subfamily Aqua Terra, Diver 300M, Planet Ocean, and Heritage could be in the works. Enthusiasts might also be treated to a box set, featuring unique additions. Additionally, there is curiosity about the Seamaster 1948 Limited Edition appearing in various Omega Gold alloys, with a particular interest in a variant crafted from nautical bronze gold. Blank paints 50 fathoms, marking 70 years since its inception as the first contemporary diver's watch, is set for a celebration. The occasion may witness limited releases of updated vintage models, along with special experiences. Notably, 2024 also marks 20 years since the 50 Fathoms return in 2003 to its iconic 1953 dive watch design. The current 50 Fathoms watches, introduced in 1997 after Blank Pain joined the Swatch Group, feature a distinct textured bezel. While a reiteration of that design seems unlikely, enthusiasts might anticipate a small, timeless 50 fathoms in black or gunmetal grey ceramic with a modern bezel, offering a fresh take on this iconic timepiece. As Rolex approaches the 60th anniversary of the Cosmograph Daytona, enthusiasts eagerly await the brand's move. The 2016 release of the current steel version with a black ceramic bezel marked a turning point for Rolex, propelling it into the second-hand market spotlight. As the Daytona hits its 60-year milestone, speculations arise. Will Rolex introduce a reinvented Daytona, continue its watchmaking success, or focus on commemorating the 70th and 80th anniversaries of the Submariner and Explorer? Some even wonder if Rolex might surprise with enhancements to the Milgauss. The anticipation is palpable, with the possibility of a steel Daytona featuring a green dial reminiscent of the white gold Daytona reference 116509. Anticipation grows for a potential new Milgauss model following the positive reception of the enhanced Air King reference 126900 last year. It's speculated that the upcoming reference 126400 will succeed the current 116400, maintaining the same casing, movement, and overall design. A notable feature could be a green lacquer dial, departing from the hard stone dial. Inspired by the new Air King, variations may include a colorful crystal atop a dark dial and a clear crystal above the white dial variant. Swatch and Casio G-Shock enter the era of 4G, with both brands celebrating significant milestones. Casio's G-Shock marks its 40th anniversary with the release of four special watches, featuring various sizes, colors, materials, and price ranges. Notably, the GMW B5000EH stands out as the first G-Shock X8 partnership model with a full metal design, a collaborative effort between the brand and renowned New York-based graffiti artist Eric Hayes. Hayes, known for his expertise in crafting unique G-Shock models, has been collaborating with the brand since 1999. With a rich history in engaging with sports, music, art, and fashion, G-Shock enthusiasts eagerly anticipate more unique models to be unveiled throughout the year.
Swatch, with its 12 plastic timepieces, launched 40 years ago, revolutionized the watch industry. The initial Swatch collection introduced in its first year surpassed a million sales and played a role in revitalizing traditional Swiss mechanical timepieces. Engineer Elmar Mach, instrumental in Swatch's success, acquired injection molding for the brand. Collaborating with Jax Muller, they developed a one-piece welded plastic watch with just 51 components. Notably, the 2013 System 51 paid homage to the first battery-powered watch. Swatch continued its innovation with the 2020 release of bio-reloaded 1983 models. The concept of owning multiple watches to complement various outfits, as suggested by the name, hints at an upcoming wave of celebratory secondary watches in 2024. The potential release of a Polar Tudor Black Bay Pro featuring white dials would introduce a distinctive standalone design. While retaining the overall aesthetic of the original Black Bay Pro, this variant could evoke Explorer 2 vibes with its white dial. Alternatively, a navy blue Black Bay Pro could offer a strong visual appeal, ensuring a unique identity for the timepiece. Tudor appears committed to providing affordable alternatives with recognizable elements, offering enthusiasts a variety of choices. The Tudor Black Bay Pro excels in delivering a contemporary sports watch experience, boasting a well-proportioned time-tested design, robust water resistance, and a reliable mechanism with the added complexity of a true flying GMT. The comfortable tapered steel bracelet, complemented by a sophisticated micro-adjust system, completes the package. In 2024, Patek Philippe introduced the Nautilus Reference 5811-1R, a stunning rose gold model with a smoky brown dial catering to enthusiasts who seek a new Nautilus without the use of steel. The release also hints at a potential Nautilus reference 5811G with a white dial in the future, although its arrival remains uncertain. For those considering alternatives, the Calatrava reference 5326R annual calendar travel time might be an appealing choice. This timepiece features a blue dial and is crafted in white gold following the release of a white gold model with charcoal dials the previous year. The watch received mixed reactions, but many appreciated its rough textured dial, intricate case construction, and meticulous finishing touches. In the much-anticipated year of 2024, IWC is poised to make a significant statement with the introduction of a new engineer model, signaling the brand's robust efforts to reclaim a prominent position in the integrated sports watch market. The forthcoming release is expected to draw inspiration from the sophisticated design elements of the Engineer SL Jumbo Reference 1832, a nod to the timeless influence of Genta's aesthetics, carefully steering away from the bulkier demeanor associated with the Engineer Reference 3239. This particular release has stirred considerable anticipation, positioning itself as one of the watches to watch in 2024. It stands out as a somewhat divisive timepiece, offering a departure from the familiar landscape, especially when juxtaposed with the pilot's watch chronograph Top Gun Edition Lake Tahoe. Despite any reservations stemming from past releases, there's a palpable sense of optimism surrounding this specific watch, suggesting that it might defy expectations and carve its own niche. What adds an intriguing dimension to this release is the revelation that the dial color for the year 2024 is set to be a pristine and attention-grabbing white, adding an extra layer of curiosity to the forthcoming launch. And that concludes yet another video. What are your insights on the watches we're eagerly anticipating this year? Share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, let us know by giving it a thumbs up and consider following us for more content. Your support means a lot to us. This is Venti Chic, and we're excited to reconnect with you in our upcoming video.